everybody. I'm so excited about giving my first talk ever in an ApacheCon conference and so happy to be for this edition of ApacheCon Asia. Um, so welcome to my talk about integrating systems in the age of Quarkus, Serverless and Kafka. Uh, before jumping in into uh, the, the topic, let's quickly present myself. My name is Zina Benthiba. I work at Red Hat. I have the chance to work on an awesome open source project that is called Apache Camo, which I am a committer and PMC. And for the past two years, I have been working on the Camo Quarkus sub project, developing and maintaining many Camo extensions for the Quarkus platform. Um, beside this, I am one of the leads of uh, Duchess France, which is a, a woman in tech, very large woman in tech uh, a community in France. I am from Morocco, but I've been living in, the, in Paris, in France, uh, more than a decade now. And I have here my Twitter handle and my GitHub, if, in case you want to, to get in touch with me. So today I'm speaking about uh, my project, uh, Apache Camo, and uh, why Apache Camo? This picture actually shows a little bit the big problematic of integration, um, having a user trying to connect two systems that are not designed to, to speak with each other. And Apache Camo can set you free. Apache Camo is an open source uh, library that have set of tools to uh, help you with integrating your system with all kind of sort of internet uh, external systems. And it has a huge library of components that can go from you can connect with uh, very legacy systems to uh, very modern cloud stuff in uh, Google Cloud, AWS, or WhatsApp. You can connect to very cool stuff like Kafka or Pulsar. You can have chatbots and very, very, very large components. And having this component is not enough because when we integrate systems we we tend to want to be have so too much sort of in of operations and those operations are already described in what we call enterprise integration patterns that give solutions to almost everything that you want to do in integration apache camel is the library that uh, implements most of those that you can also see here in the website. There is a book that describes all of them. You can have aggregators, splitter, content-based router, and so many. When you have to integrate your system with so many external systems, it's a good habit to know what are those integration patterns so that you don't reinvent the wool because uh, there is actually the, the, the preferred solution there. And to use a library like Apache Camel that is in integration for more than a decade that actually will handle a uh, so kind of sort uh, what happens in case you have an error and all the stuff. So it gives you really uh, a, a large set of tools so that you could find all what you need and connects to almost anything. And in order to ease you the, the integration and to, um, to, uh, to, to do integration very quicker, uh, to not have to master all those uh, APIs and libraries and protocols with the so many systems that we tend to connect to today, especially in the era of the cloud, uh, Apache Camo has a very simple uh, domain specific languages. Um, it's actually a way of uh, describing and coding the integration with Camo. So every integration in Camo is called a route. 
and a route is basically consuming data from an endpoint, uh, an external endpoint, doing the stuff with data and then producing the data elsewhere. So here, for example, we have an example of a route that is written in Java and XML. And as you can see here, the DSL is really uh, very intuitive. We don't have actually to, um, to go deeper in documentation to understand what this route is about. So here, the data come from, so we are consuming from, uh, Amazon S3, uh, the bucket that is named my bucket, we're consuming all the files that had prefix hello that takes T. Um, we are logging the body of those files and then we are transfer transferring, producing those messages uh, in Telegram, sending it to Telegram. And actually you can see that we are using the same keywords, so, so keywords, so uh, we can move from Java to XML to YAML or WhatsApp. And the thing is that um, all we need to do as code is this, but we will add some configuration in order to tell Camo uh, how to connect to that bucket and uh, how to use the bot and to whom to send that message. But in the code of integration itself, this is all that you need to do. It's very quick. Camel runs on many runtimes. Uh, today, I am going to speak about the project that I am I'm working on. So Camel Quarkus project, so the Quarkus uh, platform. And I am also going to demo a little bit the Kubernetes and Knative platform. But there is Spring Boot, there is the Kafka Connect, there is so many other uh, platforms. So let's speak about Camel Quarkus. Camel Quarkus is a sub project of Apache Camel that brings all those awesome integration capabilities of Apache Camel and its vast component library to the supersonic subatomic Quarkus runtime. So Quarkus is a Java runtime that is tailored for container and Kubernetes world. And it's supersonic, subatomic because in the, in the, in Java, actually, it makes those Java application microservices uh, be uh, uh, boot very fast compared to uh, traditional Java and to have very low memory compared to traditional Java. So what actually it does really is that we write our code in Java. Uh, when we compile it, we have the application bytecode. Then there is this augmentation that is done on this bytecode to have an enhanced application bytecode that we can run on a JVM like a hotspot JVM. And this application will be, uh, will fast actually, um, will be fast, will boot faster than um, a traditional Java one and will have a lower memory print. Print, print, print. And uh, if we want to have, um, more optimization, we will uh, do the native compilation with GraalVM and we will have a native executable that is way more optimized than the GVM one. So why actually go for Kramer Quarkus? Because for our integration that we want to deploy on a Kubernetes, we, our integration, we will have small size on disk. So we will have smaller container images. It will have a fast boot time. So we will have instant scale up and we can scale our application in the cloud very uh, quickly. And we will have a lower memory footprint. So we can put more containers with the same amount of RAM and with less money. In order to create a, to work with, with, uh, with Camel Quarkus, all the Camel components actually become Quarkus extensions. And the thing is that we have to create a Quarkus application. And inside on this uh, Quarkus application, we have to 
as dependencies for our camel extensions. So the dependencies are a little bit different. We have the camel components in the Java standalone project that have these dependencies like that. But when we want to use a uh, Spring Boot Starter or Quarkus extensions, we will have other way, uh, other dependencies on the uh, Maven Central. Um, so here uh, is the, the one of the way of creating the uh, Quarkus project, for example, by going on code.quarkus.io and we can here in the search start typing camel. And we have here many camel extensions. We don't have to add camel core when we use a camel extensions. For example, here if we use camel active MQ, it will bring camel core with it. And once you have all your extension camel or not, you can generate your application here and open it in your uh, editor and, and start coding your routes. Here, as you can see, we have 213 extensions available in the Quarkus platform. And these ones are uh, the ones that are supported in both native and JVM, so fully support. But if you go to that Second link here, we'll, we will arrive in the Camel Quarkus documentation. And here we see that we have way more. We have 297 97 extensions because we have 82 extensions that are on JVM only. So for these ones, you need to actually go uh, click on the documentation in order to see how you can give these dependencies because you won't find them here in the code.quarkus.io. Another tip, if you have already an existing uh, Quarkus application and you want at some point to add, uh, for example, the Camel Telegram here uh, extensions, and, and you, you want just to have the snippet of the code. So either you go on the documentation, either you go in code.quarkus.io, and from here, you copy the dependency snippet. So here, just to show you some 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 small small tips. So now let's go to the demo. So here in the demo, we're gonna do a, a very easy demo, and we will do everything in a, with the, using common cam routes. So for our Quarkus demo, we will have two routes. One route that will do a Telegram bot, a chat bot, and uh, gather some some feedback or messages from. You, uh, Telegram users and push that me messages in a Kafka broker, and uh, and we will do another route that is supposed to consume those messages from Kafka and put them in an S3 bucket. So let's dive in in the code. So I created my application uh, using the code.aquarcus.io, and let me open my editor. Uh, actually, I already done it. I I, I added uh, some few few things. Uh, what I want to say is that it will generate you the the, the PAM that XML file uh, with the right dependencies management. And because I have clicked on uh, Quarkus uh, ex um, Camel extensions, it will bring me the the Quarkus Camel bomb. Uh, so then when it adds my dependencies, they are already known by the Quarkus Camel bomb. And then here you have everything to, uh, to build your project, to build in native mode. Uh, you don't have to add anything of this because it is done already by the, 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 the project generator. Another thing that that is uh, cool to show is that uh, you have already here the Docker file for the project. We don't have to add the manual the all here because it is tailored for a container and Kubernetes. So it gives out of the box already the uh, the Docker files. And then if you want to deploy on Kubernetes as 
can see later, you can add also uh, some other extensions that will actually also uh, generate you the YAML files. So in order to start coding uh, our routes, I will just check the timer. Uh, you create, I create a class. This is the name I gave it. We can na name it whatever we want. It extends from a camel class that is uh, called route builder. Uh, and then we override the method configure. And this is where we put our routes, Java routes. So uh, the first part, we're going to do the chatbot. Um, the objective of this demo is to show you the uh, developer joy around Quarkus that is applied also for Camo. And I, I, I hope you'd love it. So here I have my chatbot. I just want to say something the first time you 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 find a chatbot uh it, it is this kind of message that we send for example if i try to have the bot father um the the one i i, I used to um uh to create this bot if i do uh, no that wasn't this one um oh so uh, let, let, let's keep this one. It, it's just the, the, the first time it does a start. And then we try to, to have our messages. At this point, the chatbot, the, the, the bot doesn't respond because I have an, uh, an API key, but I need to have an app that, that interacts with the user. So let's create a consumer uh, for this chatbot. And what I need is from Telegram. So as you see here, we have a, a plugin for IDE. We have for, for many IDEs. So here it could help me to say that I need bots. And we're just going to log um, the body. And to do body, we just do like this. I will start my application in developer mode. So Today, I am showing the developer joy. So we will stay in all development and we will have that, that developer mode. So I won't do a Maven uh, command. By the way, if you don't have the right Maven here, you have the Maven wrapper also in the app generated. But I am using my, 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 my own Maven. And here I am going to do the Quarkus dev and it will start my application in uh, developer mode. Hopefully, so hopefully it, it, it will uh, find my messages. You know, here there is the start and there is the hello. So um, at this point, I don't have any interaction with the with the user because here I have start and hello. I I want to have a a, a response, but also how actually this uh, the Telegram Camel Telegram consumer knows that this is the Camel Quarkus uh, boat uh, to show. So here. I am going to go to my application that properties and I have here the camel that component that telegram that authorization token. Uh, when uh, it is a way actually here, I use an environment variable um, and I push it here. Here it says that we are doing the configuration for a camel component that is named Telegram. And the authorization token, I find it in the uh, camel Telegram uh, documentation page in the Apache Camel project. And I know that it is this uh, property that I want to use. Uh, so this is how it works. If I want just to show you that uh, live reload, uh, I am going to do here incoming message from Telegram. I am going to save the, you see, there is live reload. If I send a hello to, 
here I have incoming message. So I don't have to, uh, to stop and start. This is actually the developer mode. It does the live reload and you see how fast it was. So it, it takes every time I just, we just save the file and it does the live reload. Here you see that there is something about testing. If my project has some tested in, uh, in you know, here I have SRC main. If I have SRC test and this code changes the test, the test will actually, when I save, it will live reload and reload also the test. So without doing anything, just to be on the dev, uh, on the dev mode. So I want, for example, to, to, to respond to, uh, to the person, but I want to do different response, uh, responses depending if I have the slash start or if I have another message than slash start. And for this, I am going to use an enterprise integration pattern that, it's, that is uh, the content-based router, which will actually, uh, we, we will use it to change uh, the, the code, uh, the, the message that we will uh, produce in Telegram, uh, depending on what we received from the user. Uh, so just to do this, um, I have here a choice. Let me place it in the right place. And to do this, we have the choice. And the syntax is uh, a choice with uh, when uh, we can have as many when as we want otherwise. And then there's the end. And here the messages, uh, I just push in the body. I transfer the body, but the message I want to, to send to the users. And I use the transform simple. I, I can maybe just put constant here. Simple is a language. It, it can be used, but I can use the, the, the constant here. And those messages here on placeholder, the messages are in here in the application.properties. So this is a way actually to push uh, those messages directly in my routes. And then now that I transform the message, I can send it back to uh, to to the user uh, with uh, with with the Telegram bots. And I am going to hit save. And I am going to try. So if I do um, start, I'll have a message that tells me thank you for joining the talk. And if I send another message, thank you for your message. This, another message, this is what I want to send in the Kafka topic because the start, it's the first entrance to the to chatbot. So um, here, just to, to know when the consumer consumes messages with the Telegram bot, it puts uh, the message in the body, but it's also, uh it it also uh put some information uh in the context in the headers uh, for example who's the user that sent this message so that when we we stay in the same context and we uh, send uh, back a message we don't need to say to whom user we are sending we already know to whom we are sending i did not uh, said what I use is start. We can have some simple expression, but here um, my message in the reality is uh, this camel uh, class that is named incoming message. And it has so many uh, information, for example, about the user. And this is the text. So I just uh, did it in a way that it's it's like a, a JSON, and I want the, to 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 test if the 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 text is equal to start. So I am using a predicate, and here I am injecting that predicate. So just to go inside the message. So here, when we have this otherwise, it means it's not start. I want to send this message to Kafka, but I don't want to have all that class that I gave you with document, sticker, video. We are just having this format of message, a Telegram ID, a text, username, and a date time. And the date time 
I would just uh, so I I did a, a, a bean Java bean that takes this message that uh, the consumer the camel rose consumer did and just creates um, the the new format that I want here and what I am going to do is to use bin so in this case before transforming the body I'm using bin to, to say that I am using my own Java bin and I'm gonna give it the class there is only one method in telegram service so camels will handle it and then uh, what I want to do is uh, transform it to JSON before sending it to Kafka. So to transform, I am using Jackson. So I'm doing Jackson to JSON. And I am sending this new format of message to uh, Kafka. let's name it topic and then uh, and then one it, it went to Kafka no matter I can now transform the message with the response and send it to the user let me check how much time I have okay so um, I just want to show something here so I'm going to restart it just to, to show you what's going to happen here. You're going to see something here in the development mode. Uh, here, it started. We have here a container that is starting. It started too fast. Uh, but here we have something that is called Dev Services Kafka pro pro Processor. Dev, ser Dev Services for Kafka started uh, in Dev mode. So it, uh, the dev mode will find the broker automatically. This is the URL of the broker. What happened here? In my uh, application that properties, I have zero information about where to connect to this Kafka broker. So Quarkus knows that I am using Kafka uh, extension. So it, it loaded for me a, a broker Kafka because I am in a developer mode. It does not not work in production mode. And, and then actually it started it using test containers and it pushed that URL in the uh, configuration so that it will find it. And then Camo, uh, Kafka extensions also reuse that uh, Kafka bootstrap server. So when we are on development mode, we don't even need uh, to actually do this. We're just going to see if there is no error with this. Hello for start. And now let's go back here. And here is my uh, bucket on S3. Let's just refresh. There's nothing. Do a start. Let's refresh. There's, oh, of course, I did not send yet to, uh, to, uh, to, to S3. So I am just going to copy the, the second route. And I am doing the second route to read from this Kafka topic. But I need to give it the same name. So let it reload. OK. So here we have a Kafka consumer. So if I do start, I have, so here it is, I'm reading from Kafka topic. I am having a log that says from Kafka, I don't have it here because it's not in my condition. In case it is, I am adding a header uh, for the S3, uh, uh, Amazon S3. And uh, here I'm just showing some log. And here 
I am sending to uh, to the S3 bucket. Uh, the S3 bucket name is here. And here with the, the same way of Telegram, I have information about how to access uh, the, the S3 bucket and I am using my own environment variable. So if I send another message then start, if I do a hello five, I should actually have an uh, incoming message from Kafka and sending that message with this header. If I check if I have some information from Amazon S3, I see that I have a message. So uh, let me uh, go back to, uh, to my slides. Um, I am going to go a little bit uh, quicker uh, in order to see how uh, we build with native mode and the comparison between native mode and JVM mode and even the JVM mode, Quarkus, Camo Quarkus and Camo Spring Boot. You can go here I said, to the link of one of uh, the old talks of Alexandre Gal Galis uh, in the Apache Con from uh, 2020. And in order to deploy on Kubernetes, there is so many, uh, because we are speaking about the cloud, there are so many uh, extensions that are available on Quarkus, the Quarkus way that you can use. And uh, here to, to, con to, uh, to do the, the container image, to build it, and to generate Kubernetes resources, the YAML files, and, e and even deploy automatically uh, to Kubernetes depending on which uh, flavor of Kubernetes you have. And there is a video uh, that it showcases here in Quarkus Insight. I, I give the link here. So now let's let's go uh, to the uh, other part. Uh, Camel Quarkus, you can deploy it uh, either um, on, on Kubernetes or not. But imagining that we, we are uh, tailor, uh, targeting Kubernetes, uh, we wanted to have something that is simpler, um, that you could have this uh, route that's, that is very intuitive and to execute it, uh, to put it just in a file, to execute it with a CLI and that runs automatically on serverless without creating an application like we did and uh, go sh fetching each dependency uh, because when we do from Kafka or to Kafka, we know that we want to consume from Kafka or deploy to Kafka. So this is uh, possible uh, with the Camel K operator uh, that is going to do uh, this job of uh, of reading the file, knowing what uh, what dependencies uh, to, to 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 have in order to deploy this integration in the uh, Kubernetes world. So here we are going to do the second part of the the, the demo. So my application is still up in the um, in the developer mode. Uh, pushing to AWS S3. So we are going to have two kind of different kind of routes. One that is uh, in, in a serverless world here. So uh, Knative is, the, is the, the, the project, open source project uh, from CNCF that, uh, ha that make us uh, have the, the serverless on OpenShift uh, that is Total, to, total open source. Uh, so you could deploy this here and in the in the here in my in, in my GitHub repository there is uh, information of how you can install this uh, you know with Minikube. Uh, so the first route will read from as Amazon S3 and will put the, the information in a Knative channel and the second route uh, will actually uh, uh, get those messages into a Google spreadsheet. And here, the second route will be serverless because it will be uh, based on events from Knative. So uh, I am starting to deploy it just to show you how, and then we will see. So let's keep this one started. 
and and go here uh, the 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 CLI is camo so here you can see that i am connected to my uh openshift cluster openshift is a distribution of kubernetes or what I do here, you can do it on Kubernetes. So here, the camel get, I have zero integration. And I am going to deploy the first integration. So camel, just doing the camel run and, and I am deploying it. And I am going to deploy, uh, I am going to, 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 to show you the, um, the cluster and also keep track on the clock. Um, so here it is it is deploying my uh, my uh, my uh, my integration it is up at some point this one will scale to zero and this is my channel the feedback uh, and and this one will act then uh, scale to zero uh, and will be started when there will be event here we will see the code very quickly of this integration. It is in uh, Groovy, so it's native to Sheets. Uh, here we have the information uh, that you have to scale it to zero and that it uses some secret and you have everything in order to install the secret and everything. So this is here a route that, uh, that, that, that reads, uh, consumes from this uh, channel and it's going to transform the message and put it in a Google Sheet. For the information, the Google Sheet is here and there is nothing in it for, for this moment. And as you see here, it is already auto-scaling to zero. Let's look at the second route, the first one. Uh, this one will not be k-native uh, because it, 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 it doesn't... Uh, uh, get events from the Kinetive channel and it has its secret and this one is just getting all that we have in AWS S3 and putting it in that Kinetive channel. So let's see here. So here it is auto scaling to zero, uh, which is good. We can now uh, go do the other one. So it's S3 to Knative. We're going to deploy this second one. And here it is deployed. And this one, as you see, it is scaling to one because I had here a message. And here I can view the log and you see it has that hello five uh, message. And if I go here, you're gonna see that the first one has consumed this message. And if you see here, we see that it is a Quercus application that is run, but we didn't do anything, just the, the small files in Groovy that we deployed with the uh with and you know here no more messages so it's gonna uh, scale to zero again and here the same thing it is uh, a a a, um, a quarkus up let's try to do another message a hello final and you see here we have already hello final and this one is again uh you know you see how how it was very quick it scales uh, to to zero uh, very quickly and uh, i think i'm running already uh, over time so we saw so many things and uh, because i don't have time i just want to give you here uh, uh, the twitter account and the link to go check the slides and uh, the demo. And uh, please feel free to, 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 to ask questions. I will see if I can, if I can uh, respond to the ones in the chat, but if not, please uh, send me on Twitter. And many, many, many thanks.